Eddie, but there was a time when Eddie and I were both very, very broke. I got uh, picked up over at the comedy store, and my girl came through. She was buck wild out of Camden, New Jersey. And you know, I got a thing for women that are buck motherfucking wild. You know, that's the kind of women I like. If she look like she'll blow some shit up, I'm going after her. And Tasha looked like she blew up a whole lot of shit prior to even getting there. I remember Eddie lived in like a a one like stu like a like a studio apartment. It was more like a bachelor apartment. You imagine a studio apartment with just enough room for a bathroom that's about the size of my bar right now, right? It's had a toilet in that motherfucking little tiny ass sink. We all just lived together, right? Eddie and I, I had this little Ford Escort at the time. And Eddie and I, I remember we would go to McDonald's. We had no money. We would be driving her bucket over to McDonald's. We had enough to get the Big Mac. We had to hustle and beg for the fries. You know, like, come on, give us some damn fries, you know. Imagine getting a bag of McDonald's ketchup. And this shit was good. It was good. It was good. We didn't even put it on the fries. You just suck it right out the package. It was good. So that's how hungry we was. And we would also go to uh, this restaurant that had like this, you know how they used to have like those, those buffets during happy hour? You know, it was a two drink minimum, but you could eat. We would go to buffets like that, right? Have enough money to get like two beers or two cocktails. I would have plastic bags in my bag. I would be stealing the little food. And <laughs> Oh my God. Anyway, so yes, we were very, very broke, but then Eddie started working and working and working and, you know, he definitely took care of me and I love him so much. We would have dated, but we'd have probably killed each other. It's, it's, it's like that. He and Dave Chappelle, I would say, were my two closest friends, you know. I mean, I had a lot of friends. I mean, Paul Mooney, you know, mentor, very, very close friend of mine. Um, but Eddie, we ran the streets a lot. We used to get in a lot of trouble, trust me. And then find out she got a twin. I'm like, well, goddamn, look at these fine mother hey right? But I could tell them apart. A lot of people couldn't tell Tasha from Sidra, but I could tell them apart because Tasha the crazy one, you know. And see, crazy recognized crazy, so, you know. We vibe like that. Yes, but that's my baby, and I love him so much, and I love Dave so much, and I love Paul Mooney so much. I mean, you know, those were the people that were like, that I grew up with, you know, doing stand-up comedy, and it was just the best days of my life.